day zero in Gartmoor, we're just leaving the Fox and Hound right now. We arrived around eight o'clock from Bristol and it's now 20 minutes to 10. And we are just walking up this path to camp. It's 20 to 11 and we had a look at everyone's tents. But now the rain is starting to pick up. The rain is starting to pick up. Hopefully it's not like this now. Base weight this time is 6.8 kilograms, 4.8 kilograms without philosophy gear. There is no set plan as such today, but we are aiming to walk for around 10 miles, uh, weather dependent, and the weather's not great right now. And according to the weather forecast, it's going to be heavy rain right? in about an hour and a half, two hours. So I don't know how far we'll actually walk. But we are going to try and head towards Fur Tour here on Dartmoor. So, since the last trip, there are a couple of changes to my kit. The first big thing is that I don't know if you can see, but the yellow thing here. So I'm on a little bit of padding on the shoulder straps of my uh, Osprey Exos 46 because it was cutting into my shoulder blades a little bit. So I added on those padding, which weigh about 20 grams each, so 40 grams in total. Not really, not that much, and it has helped helped a lot with the with the comfort of the backpack without adding too much weight. I've also swapped my uh, inflatable pad. The, uh, the one I had before was leaking and I took it back to uh, go outdoors at retail and I got it from and they swapped it for, the, uh, for a new one, the 2018 model, which is 50 grams lighter. And uh, last night I didn't need to inflate the pad again during the night at all. So hopefully it'll hold up. Just walking across this bog and it's so energy sapping as my your feet just sinks in with every single step. And even though it's only about a mile and a half, two miles to our fur tour where we are camping tonight, it might take us a little bit just to get there because of this rough terrain.
slept pretty well last night compared to the uh, night before because up here on Furtor there was a bit of wind coming through and obviously because of the elevation I think we we're about 500 and something meters up it was quite a bit chillier than it was down at the campsite on the first night so I actually managed to uh, use my quilt rather than just have it halfway up me and uh, slept quite comfortably until around 8 o'clock I tried to get up to see the stars arching over there because I thought it would be a good shot filming the tents and fur tour with the uh, Milky Way coming up but the clouds were just too heavy to, uh, to really see it so it's a shame we can get that once again About 20 minutes ago I just got stung by a wasp uh, on my back by uh, where my shoulder blades are and can't show you because I can't bend my camera around but it's definitely a bump there and it feels pretty uncomfortable. It feels like a, it's a very strong numbing, stabbed, being stabbed sensation. Don't have that far left. Uh, we're nearly at Braptor, which you cross, so we should be uh, finished with the route in a couple of hours or less. Alright, we made it back to the uh, Fox and Hound pub where we started on uh, Friday. So yeah, it's been a really good weekend. Uh, met some amazing people with a similar interest. Uh, had all sorts of weather, had rain, had wind, had sunshine today. Um, the only thing we're missing is snow, I guess. A pretty good walk and checked out some interesting gear. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>